What up, you're watching Fly POV on BreakBread.tv. I'm KJ. And this is Jay Red. We got a special guest in the building, Mr. D Zo. What's up, man? How's it going, man? I'm good, man. You were formerly known as KD. Why did you change your name to D Zo? Uh, well, I changed my name to D Zo because um, uh, it was an artist coming up out of Detroit. I guess he's kind of like popping right now. Our name is similar. His name is uh, KD. So it was like I didn't want no confusion when you Google my name. So. And I felt music-wise, my uh, I progressed better than I was at the I mean, KD. So I just feel like the new name was just, you know, a, be a better like you know, a representation of what I am now. So, so uh, your new album, Ten Ten Eight Seven, is uh, it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid, man. Uh, <laughs> feel it, feel it is, uh, feel it is a. Banger, man. It's like a dumber anthem. I'm trying. I like yeah, it. I'm definitely trying. Bumping up in my car with the window rolled down. <laughs> yeah, are you, are you trying to shoot like a video for, for every song on the uh, Yeah, most definitely. This whole summer, that's what I'm trying to work on is videos for it, uh, for every song on the project. But you know, um, the, the big artists I got on, they're kind of busy right now, so it's like, you know, that's what's kind of holding it back. But I'm shooting all the videos with my solo work on it, so. but. By the end of this year, I should have all 15 videos shot for a project. So are, you, are you already in the studio working on your oh, yes. project? Oh, well, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Gotta keep it going. So you uh, you recently got a chance to perform in LA at the BT Awards? Yeah, the Chris Brown after party, man. It was fucking crazy, yo. It was like 4,000 people in um, Velasquez Theater. That shit was crazy. It was motivating. Like, seeing all them big artists, you know what I mean? And seeing them do anything, and it's just like, I'm watching them like, yeah, that's that's cool, you know what I'm saying? But I'm really imagining me in their shoes, you know what I mean? Like, I can't wait till I'm in that position, you know what I mean? It was just a dope feeling, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. What um, song is like, was the most fun one to make? I would say... On this project, Titan I would say uh, Motion Picture. I would say that one was the most exciting to make because I feel like that shit is just so hard. Like, just the, the beat, mm -hmm. my cadence on it. But I would feel like the the most eye-opening song I did record was Feel It, because I got to go to Hit Boy Studio and work with him for that, you know, amount of time. And it was crazy, like, being the fact that he's, like, huge, yeah. you know what I mean? So it was like, and he invited me to his house just to record, like. How so was his uh, working process? Uh, well, when I, when, I, when I pulled up, it was kind of like, I pulled up, it, kept, it happened fast, like, we went to his little mansion or whatever in L.A., and um, it was like, hell surreal. Like I walk, in, I walked in, went up the stairs, whatever. Seen a couple producers that uh, kind of helped uh, make it happen. And, um, we shook hands, whatever. And I walked right in the studio. He was right there. And they just happened fast. Like we shook hands, turned the beat on, and he just started writing. Like so, I'm like, you know. And then like in, 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 in between that, I kind of I made sure I asked him like, how does it, how did it feel like when Kanye and Jay Z brought you out on tour and like, you know, like how did how does that feel to be around them cats? And it's like. He was like, it's just surreal, like, you know what I mean? And it was just like me by him saying that I kept I kept trying to picture like what was trying to trying to make myself feel the yeah. feeling that he had, you know what I mean? But it's hard because he's yeah. being in the shoes. Were you nervous? Like, you know, I was nervous. I was trying to like <laughs> body that shit. Like so I'm like, you know, it could have been, you know, in my head I'm like, I'm about to go in here and kill a song, you know what I mean? Eventually all we dope as hell. We gonna build from there, you know what I mean? But you know, it don't really play out like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I just got out of my, um, I had an independent deal with a hard sell media, shout out to my man Rick out in Arizona. Uh, I was signed with them all last year, um, independent deal, and uh, that was it, we just got up with that, so right now I'm in the process of just keeping, keep grinding, and, uh, finding, new, finding a new situation. I had uh, many, like I had tons of interviews and meetings with labels from Def Jam, Sony, Atlantic, so yeah, so I mean, I could have been signed, but it's like, I, I didn't want to sell myself short on a, like a major scale, especially like, I personally feel like I ain't did shit yet, you know what I mean? So I could have then say like, all right, fuck it, just take everything they give me and they probably give me $10,000 and some bullshit I've been on the show, but I would have been signed, you know? So it's like, I couldn't, I couldn't really do that. Do you prefer to go major or stay independent? Oh, uh, well, it depends on the situation, you know what I mean? If a uh, major label offer me like a million dollars, of course I'm gonna take that, but you know, if I'm blessed enough to get enough fans to where I can stay independent, I'm gonna definitely stay independent and um, you know, keep riding like that. 
Yeah, he has this thing called Underground Heat, where he gets all the top uh, top 10 independent videos. It's kind of like buzzing right now, and um, I made number nine on the list. To get number one, I gotta like have everybody vote, you know what I'm saying? Go comment the video. Uh, Number one. So, uh, tell the people where they can find your uh, projects. Uh, well, you can find all my projects from 10 to 87 and 22 Summers and all my other various mixtapes on uh, realdiesel.com. Follow me on Twitter at realdiesel, Instagram realdiesel. Find diesel, you know what I'm saying? Just follow me, man. Lot of what up, you're watching Fly POV on BreakBread.tv. I'm KJ. And this is Jay Red. We got a